Ottoman province of Syria. Hello guys, today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to create the sidebar menu in Adobe News. So this is how it is going to look like. When you click this button, the menu appears. You click it again and it disappears. So now let's head to the tutorial. So here is a template that I am going to work on. It just says my website here. So to create this sidebar menu, we need to add one widget from this widget library. We want to go to the compositions and choose a blank composition and drag it to the stage. Now we are going to use this composition to create our sidebar menu. So first of all, we are going to need one trigger that is going to be the button that will be present over here and one target that will be the sidebar menu that was shown in orange color. We don't need these other two triggers so we will just delete them for now. Delete. Now we will arrange it on the stage. We will choose this trigger box and place it just above this target box. Now we will go and create our menu button. I'll just paste one more all right we will group this into one group select a fill okay let's say white shrink it a little now here comes the trick we what we'll do is select this group and we'll drag it and drop it into this small rectangle that is called the trigger box now when you see when you hover your mouse over here it says, says composition you click it now it says the trigger box you click it again now it shows you the group you just dragged it in now again we'll draw one more rectangle that is going to be our sidebar menu let's give it a color let's say orange okay now again we will do the same thing we will drag it inside this big rectangle now that is the target box all right adjust its side a little now we'll adjust the size of this target box to match it with our rectangle all right now you can see that there is gray background on this trigger box so what we want to do is click on this trigger box once it is selected go to fill and select no fill again click on stroke and select no stroke now this settings was done for the active state of the trigger box we want to do it for all the settings so we'll just click on this active over here go to normal setting select none in fill and stroke again all right now all states are good we'll go to rollover and again select none for strokes so we don't want any rectangle or background in the trigger box again we'll go to the target box and select no fill and no stroke in all the states all right okay now we'll change some settings of this composition box just select this composition select this blue circle now we are going we are going to change some options over here we'll click hide all initially what it will do is the menu will not appear automatically by default the target will be shown on click that is when you click this menu the orange bar will appear the tiger target will be hidden again on clicking okay now to add options to this menu choose type any text Now again to add it to the composition drag it and drop it in the target box. Now let's say we are going to place some more instances of the menu item. Again drag and drop. Let's say one more. 
all right that's it now to add hyperlink to this just click on this text frame and give the link what to the page whatever you want right now I'm having only one page and no anchors so in case you are having anchors you can add the link and it will just act like a menu now let's go and test whether this is working or not okay so let's now click on this publish okay now let's click on this button and see it is working so click on this button the menu appears you click it again it disappears now you must have noticed a difference that this menu comes by default over here and it goes above when I slide it so to fix it at the top of the screen and to make it appear when I scroll down we need to use one scroll effect which I'll be showing you in the next tutorial that's all for this Thank you.